What's going on guys? Got something kind of cool for you today. Um, this is kind of a follow-up to my fight pad video. If any of you have seen it, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, but everybody knows that for fighting games, I'm a pad player. But as of recent, I've kind of been more toying with fight sticks. And um, there are a lot of fight sticks on the market, and once again, that caused a wide array of issues. So today I'm gonna do an unboxing and quick review of one that I have been using lately, and that is the Street Fighter Cross Tekken Pro Fight Stick made by Mad Cats. Yeah, Mad Cats. I was kind of surprised too to find out that in the fight stick community, Mad Cats is actually a good brand. I guess gone are the days of Mad Cats and Nyko competing over who can make the crappiest accessory slash controller for whatever said system. So let's go ahead and crack this thing open and see what's inside. Now while searching for a stick, all I kept hearing is that the Street Fighter 4 Tournament Edition stick by Mad Cats is the best, the TE stick is the best, you gotta have a TE stick, etc, etc, etc. But when I saw the price tag, I was like, ah, no thanks. So I decided to go with a cheaper model, which is basically built the exact same way without the Street Fighter 4 brand attached to it. And that's what led me to the Street Fighter Cross Tekken Pro Fight Stick. Well guys, here's the box. As you can see, it's got some nice artwork all around it from uh, the video game Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Not one of my favorite games, but it's a decent game nonetheless. And um, you know, the stick's made by Magcast. This is the Xbox 360 version. They also make it for the PS3. Um, box got a nice little, uh, you know, display kind of thing to it. Um, this is the, the stick itself. You know, it got all that nice little collector's edition stuff, what have you. Let's go ahead and pull this bad boy out. As you can see right here, it's got the uh, some attachments so you could attach your microphone and whatnot to the stick itself. This is a very nice stick. Let me get this box out the way. There's the stick itself. Um, nice artwork. It comes in two different artwork versions. Uh, this one is the line version. There's also the cross version. Um, it's got a turbo feature. Uh, you could change the stick from left stick to right stick to D-pad, Xbox Live home button. And here's a, uh, a lock button that locks the menu button. And I believe the start button as well. Um, the stick is made with authentic Sangwa parts, which is basically exactly what the Tournament Edition stick is made with, which is, you know, the most popular choice right now, but one of the most popular choices. Even the, the stick is a uh, Sangwa square gate, um, which you could always change to an octagonal gate or, or whatever may have you. Um, really nice stick. Uh, in the back, you have your start button, your back button, and this is where the USB cable resides, making it nice and neat and whatnot. Also, this thing is very easy to open up and modify, like if you wanted to change anything or if the button went out on you and whatnot. Um, very nice stick. I've been playing with it for uh, a little while now, and um, it's fantastic. It's about $100 cheaper than the TE stick, which makes it a steal. I mean, they've made pretty much of the same exact parts, good all around good stick. I mean, if you can wing it, I definitely recommend this stick. Um, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, maybe I'll do a future video of me, you know, using this thing in action. Until um, next time, this is Ness signing out.